subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. And welcome to the morning version of Sean's View Entertainment around the clock. We don't stop. And this is your wake-up call. This is your call to get up and get willing and able to listen to Sean's View Entertainment on your cell phone, your laptop, your, your PC, whatever it means, whatever whatever device, whatever like electronic you have, whether you're even watching me on the TV. Wake up and get your pancakes, get your sausage, get your eggs, get your get whatever it is, get your milk, get your tea, get your crumpets, because Sean's View Entertainment is going to be all day, every day. It doesn't matter if it's morning, evening, noon, night. Sean View Entertainment comes every day to the delight of all my viewers, all my fans, and all my subscribers. Why? Because I care about you one by one. You come in. Whether you agree or disagree, as long as we're talking about it, as long as we're th thinking about it, that's all that matters. Now, as the world saw last night on Monday Night Raw, the announcement, and I'll tell you, the USA Network, they almost cut it off. They, it, it almost got cut off, but luckily, thankfully, it didn't. You know, Cody Rhodes said it just in time. Time because the USA Network almost turned heel on WWE again. I can almost see why the WWE wants to go off of uh, USA Network. They always cut them off all the time. But ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news coming in. We got a breaking morning episode. I mean, we do breaking news throughout the day, every day, multiple times a day. Also, I want to know from you viewers, fans, and subscribers, do you want Sean View to continue doing my Raw review? Do you want Sean View to do a Raw review every Monday night after Raw? Because I know many people do Raw reviews on here. And I'm the one, again, I'm the one that brought WWE news and rumors to this website all about 10 years ago, over a decade ago. And then, of course... You know, we have to have everyone else, you know, copy what I did. But that's, you know, hey, I'm I'm the one that laid out the groundwork. I'm, I'm the one that put news and rumors in the WWE on the map on YouTube. For the, for those of you that are new, oh, no, well, Sean, I saw this guy do WWE news. I saw this guy do WWE news. No, I'm the one that built the foundation. I'm the one that started it. I'm the one that maintained it. I am the one that brought realism to the WWE news and rumors. But we're not here to talk about who did it first, who did it last, who did it second, who did it first. <laughs> Just want to let everyone know about that. But as we all saw, the world saw Randy Orton was announced last night for WWE War Games. And you see the title, very, very sad news as it concerns Randy Orton in the Survivor Series. Now, I'm going to tell you why there's some very sad news this morning. Now, we are all, you know, hyped up. We're, we're all excited. We're all amped up about the return of Randy Orton. The guy is a future Hall of Fame. He's one of the greatest of all time. But what if I said there's going to be very monumental changes to Randy Orton at the Survivor Series? Because according to the WWE rumor mill, and yes, we do talk about and discuss rumors, news, and headlines, and if you don't like that, well, then I don't know what to tell you. Now, some of this could happen. Some of it might not happen, but we're going to talk about what very well could happen because this is according to the rumor mill, and we're going to bring it up. First of all, Randy Orton's uh, in-ring technique is going to maybe be a little bit different from what you remember it because Randy Orton did have a severe back injury, and uh, Randy Orton was even informed to retire. Hell, there was even rumors during Randy Orton's hiatus that he had a heart attack. He had heart issues. Now, we all know the game Triple H has had heart issues. He can never wrestle ever again. However, it seems like those rumors about Randy Orton having heart issues uh, was was just all a lie. It, it was just all a misconception. It was just manipulation. Uh, Randy Orton did not have a heart attack. Randy Orton did not suffer a heart problem. But we do have very sad news on the Viper Randy Orton because that was sad as, as it was. If Randy Orton would have had a heart attack or a heart problem, that would have been very sad. But listen to this one, guys. Cataclysmic updates here on Sean View and Timmy concerning Randy Orton. Not only does it seem like Randy Orton might have to tone down his in-ring style, Randy Orton may not be able to use the RKO as much as he used to. He might have to resort to more of the punt kick also viewers fans and subscribers we are also hearing that at wwe survivor series in a major turn of events randy orton actually might turn heel might go to the dark side might turn on his own team now we also saw during this that jay uso was a little bit concerned a little bit conflicted he didn't look so happy that randy orton was announced for monday night raw to be at the Survivor Series. And there's reason behind that because we all know that the Usos were the reason why Randy Orton got taken out, why Randy Orton got injured, why Randy Orton was on the shelf for almost two damn years. So, of course, Jey Uso didn't look so happy. He looked a little bit scared. He looked a little bit concerned that Randy Orton is going to be returning. And for good reason, he should be a little bit concerned. He should be a little bit timid. 
He, you know, he should be a little bit rattled. He should be a little bit shaky because it was the Usos that put Randy Orton on the shelf. It seems like Jay Uso has a pro- has problems with many of people in the WWE. So yeah, so Randy Orton's gonna have to tone down his in ring work. He may not be able to use the RKO as often. And the very sad news is, well, uh, people might see this as a good thing. And well, uh, Randy Orton heel version of Randy Orton. Because, again, there's a lot of rumors and speculation that there's going to be a major program between Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes throughout the year in 2024. So that is something that you have to pay attention to. That is something you have to take in at the end of the day. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, on this morning episode, this morning spectacular of Sean's VTM, please sign up to become a channel member today. Uh, Randy Orton... What brand is he going to be on? Is he going to be on Raw? Is he going to be on SmackDown? Or is he going to be on NXT? Well, it would appear as if Randy Orton is going to be able to be a free agent and he's going to appear on all three brands. Randy Orton will, yes, Randy Orton appearing not on one, not on two, but all three brands of the WWE. Now, that's not the part that's sad because we talked about the sad update about Randy Orton. This is something that's huge and big. However, the WWE does want to limit Randy Orton, so don't expect him just because he's a free agent. Don't expect Randy Orton to appear on all three brands of the WWE. Now, do you want to see Randy Orton turn heel? Do you want to see him go to the dark side, the bad side? Or do you feel it's too early? Do you feel that it's too unexpected? And did you think that Randy Orton should have appeared last night on Monday Night Raw? Your thoughts, your feelings on the matter here on The Brash and The Brazen. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers just coming across my desk right now in real time. And that's why we do the news and rumors in real time for each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you this right now. The return date is being revealed, guys. Yes, the return date is being revealed after 18 months away about the Viper, Randy Orton. Also, Drew McIntyre is reacting to the return of Randy Orton. Also, Logan Paul is being praised for getting new eyes on the WWE. Yes, that is going to increase the levels of the U.S. title, even though he's been disrespecting and disparaging the, the United States Championship. And also, major world champion injured. A major world champion is injured. Ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, MJF, the world champion of AEW, is injured. A lot of rumors and speculation about if he will be able to have to relinquish his championship. And also, if Randy Orton does turn heel at the Survivor Series, who is he going to turn heel on? Rumors and speculation that it would not just be one, but multiple people he would turn heel on, most notably Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. Also, Shinsuke Nakamura says he has issued an open challenge. Shinsuke Nakamura says that he has his eyes open. He knows who he's going to target. He knows who he's going to go after. A lot of rumors and speculation that his eyes are on the return of CM. Punk, subscribe, more to come. We do this multiple times a day, every day, and in every way. Why? Because we are brash, we are brazen, and we are prolific. Because Sean's View Entertainment comes all the way for each and every one of you. Because I will always make you feel some sort of way on the unapologetic Sean's View Entertainment. Stay tuned, plenty more to come throughout the day, every day.